I'm Ava Thompson Greenwell. I've been at Medill for, this, I think this is my 17th year. I came in 1993, teaching in the then broadcast department, and uh, I've been teaching undergraduate and graduate classes. I was a reporter before coming here. My last station was WFLA, which is the NBC affiliate in Tampa, Florida. Many of the students here at Northwestern, and particularly at Medill, are quite intelligent students. Uh, they are hardworking students, and that's great. So those are fantastic foundations uh, from which to begin. But what they really need is the practice and the experience and someone who can really guide them in terms of sources and also can help them uh, just understand some of the psychological impacts of being a reporter. Not being afraid to go out and talk to people, not being afraid to knock on doors, being willing to take that extra step to get more information in the story and really uh, pushing them to be better than they ever thought they could be. We really want you to be able to blend the old with the new, the old being reporting is still important, writing is still important, but also being able to think uh, about the future and how you're going to tell those stories with new technology. Medill has changed quite a bit over the last, I'd say, four or five years in terms of how it sees its curriculum. Uh, in the past, uh, it was you were in the magazine department or you were in the newspaper department or you were in the broadcast department. Well, now we know that those uh, walls or those silos, as we often call them, really don't exist anymore. It's really about being a multi-platform journalist and being able to understand when a story demands video, when a story demands audio, when a story demands still photos. And I think that is uh, something that we're trying to impart uh, into students day one so that it becomes natural. We don't know what the future is going to hold in terms of that next big thing or the next technological uh, gadget that people will be viewing or watching or listening to their news on. But I think students have to be in a mode of just being flexible, being nimble, so that when that new future and that new technology does come, they'll be ready to learn it.